CSL is a world leader in transshipment, providing innovative global transshipment solutions. CSL's transshipment operations are a viable, cost-effective alternative to upgrading or building a new port. The loading operation is the last crucial link in the logistics chain and needs to be fully integrated with the entire mining operation. CSL's first generation of transshipper commenced in South Australia's Spencer Gulf in 2007. Existing port infrastructure was used, requiring a minimal capital outlay incorporating high-tech PLC automation systems with 12 personnel and an environmentally friendly, fully enclosed transshipping system. The operation comprises of three transshipping barges. The Floating Offshore Transfer Barge, or FOTB Spencer Gulf, and two self-unloading barges, Bangala and Middleback. With a shore loading rate of 3,000 tonnes per hour, and a barge transfer rate of 4,000 tonnes per hour. Each barge has a 12,000 tonne cargo capacity. With a 12-hour cycle per barge, the operation has a capability of transferring 48,000 tonnes per day. The floating offshore transfer barge, FOTB Spencer Gulf, has a maximum transfer rate of 5,000 tonnes per hour. This transshipment operation currently delivers 6.5 million tonnes per year. The operation commences at the ore jetty, where 12,000 tonnes of cargo is loaded on board the SUBs. The Cape Transshipping Point, or CTP, is only seven nautical miles from the loading facility, enabling a transit time of only two hours at approximately three knots fully loaded. The barge is then manoeuvred alongside the FOTB and automated mooring systems called ARMGOs are engaged for mooring. Next, the FOTB crew position the boom and the operations manager gives the order to start cargo. The product is gravity fed onto the barge tunnel conveyor through gates. A boom conveyor then transfers the cargo from the barge to the FOTB receiver hopper where it enters its first inclined conveyor belt before joining a second inclined conveyor belt and eventually crossing the ship loader boom and onto the Cape vessel. When the transfer of all 12,000 tonnes of cargo is complete, the tugs are moved into position and the arm goes are released for the 55 minute transit back to the loading berth. CSL's newest generation of transshipper, the Transshipment Shuttle Vessel or TSV, commenced operations in Wyala in December 2012. The TSV has a faster cycle time and provides flexibility in the transshipment operation. The TSV also has a 12,000 tonne cargo capacity. The export operation commences at the mine, where the material is loaded into trains and transferred to the port facility. CSL's TSV then simply moors alongside the berth for loading. The TSV has a bow thruster fore and two azimuth thrusters aft, allowing for complete manoeuvrability. On completion of loading, the TSV sails to the Cape Size vessel at Anchorage and berths alongside. Once secured, the boom moves into position over the hold of the Cape, ready to commence the loading operation. The gates at the bottom of each hold open, dropping the material onto a belt conveyor. The sides of the hoppers are inclined to avoid blockages and allow for the free flow of the material. The conveyor moves the material horizontally below the holds of the TSV and onto an inclined conveyor which lifts the material upward and into the loading arm which then discharges into the hold of the cape. The loading belts are covered to eliminate dust. After discharging the cargo, the TSV returns to port to reload and perform the operation once again until the cape is fully loaded. CSL continues to look for and develop innovative solutions for offshore transshipment. CSL's next generation of transshipment shuttle vessels will be larger, faster and capable of handling export volumes of up to 100 million tonnes per annum. The new TSVs will offer a viable alternative to large port developments. As we say at CSL, no port, no problem.